guys. Today we will be discussing planners. What a wonderful world. So this is a very chill laid back video where I simply want to let you all know my opinion on the different 2021 planners available in India. In my previous video I spoke in detail about my 2021 planner which is by ink bucket so make sure you watch that if you are interested in knowing about this planner but i do understand that this may not be everyone's cup of tea this may not even be for everyone's budget so i thought you know i'm going to go on my phone and ask all of you on my instagram what are your favorite indian planners and the response has been crazy there were so many planners that i had no idea about and just thought that i will explore all these options that you have suggested just so that for anyone who's viewing this video can find it a bit easier to make a decision on which planner to go for next year so initially i didn't want to make this video because i don't have the planners with me to talk about that and compare it to each other and give you my final opinion since i don't have that budget i thought it'll still be helpful to just take you through my point of view when i am buying a planner so take this video with a pinch of salt it's not facts that i'm stating it's definitely not a review of every planner it's just me putting my my first impressions my first thoughts out there so that you can judge for yourself if you would want to go for that planner maybe I can help you make your decision the planner is quite affordable it's only 693 bucks and I think that's the sale pricing the MRP is 856 so pricing wise amazing clearly it's budget friendly so that's good look wise it's quite simple and it is also spiral bound it's very colorful I can see a lot of graphics which can be visually appealing and of course cute stickers they have highlights page here and this is how their monthly calendar overview looks they have have a wish list again very graphic so i like how visually it's very bright and appealing oh i love that they have a list for movies and songs because this is actually something that i myself write in my own planner like i like to know which movies i watched in that particular they have a habit tracker that's great goals my goals whoa there seems to be like so many sections for goals i personally don't think that's practical because i mean how many goals can you actually have in a year mood tracker oh i love this definitely a plus i would love my planner to have a mood tracker they've also mentioned that they have a gratitude page a task list a travel bucket list a review of the year bullet journaling pages so they seem to have most of the necessary planning segments intact which is great so yeah usage wise practicality wise it makes sense but would i buy it Probably not only because it's not as visually appealing to me but that's also because it is super budget friendly right you can't expect the best quality like gold foil and gold corners this one of course looks wise you can make out it's not of the highest quality but that's again only because of the price so I would still give this one a thumbs up and you should go for it if you are looking for a planner within this budget because it has all the necessary things that a planner should have so this is how the planner looks it's actually quite funky very vibrant all their products are like this so it goes with the brand really well and I also love how there are monthly tabs so it's so easy to just directly go to March because the tab is there. Oh, I love this idea of the Polaroids. It's actually very creative. Imagine when you look back to it, it's going to be amazing. So I'm a sucker for nostalgic things like this. So I really like that. Memory collection, again, that's a very cute insert. Oh, I love that they have mid-year goals. Very thoughtful. By the middle of the year, we probably would have changed our goals or even failed at some goals. So we might want to keep looking again at our goals and change it maybe. So I like that they have this mid-year goal section. I've actually never seen that in any planner. These two travel inserts, they have travel plans. And they can mention the destination, when, the flight details, shopping, food, hotel, the budget. Again, very useful and thoughtful. There's a travel to-do list, the clothes you'll take, tech accessories, accessories. My question is if this is there for like every month or is this just one insert? Oh my god. I think my favorite part is the stickers. Very, very cute stickers. Love it. And you have this flap at the back so you can put in any necessary things. We also have a pen that comes with the planner with the stylus at the back. You can use that. I love that they are giving away a pen and that to a stylus. Spend. So once you're done with the month, you can actually tear this out and use this as decor. You could frame ah. it or you could use it as a postcard. Oh, so the postcards are actually part of the monthly spread. That is genius. So you can just basically take out the print after you finish that year and use it as a postcard, decor or just anything you want. Talking a little bit more about travel, we do have some travel um, sheets as well. To-do list, we have a lot of those. So you can plan a lot of your travel trips. Oh my god, I love it. I love this. I just mentioned that I hope she has more travel plans and travel checklists. And it seems that she has. So 
yeah big thumbs up love that so this is for 799 rupees which is 800 so this is more expensive than the haley weight planner but it also has a lot more than the haley weight planner like if i had to choose between those two i would pick this one it's just slightly more expensive but i feel it has a lot more useful planner inserts the graphics the colors and just the aesthetics of the planner is not something that i would personally go for because my style is completely different and what i vibe with but that's again personal taste so i'm not going to let that cloud over anyone's judgment so just see if the look of this planner you great like i said what's inside is definitely good now this style like aesthetic is what i vibe with so look wise i really like this also i love the size of this it's very handy so that's great okay so this is how the inside looks it is colorful but not as colorful as the simba lifestyle one or even Haley wade's one this is more minimalistic and just has like a pop of color here and there i love how saloni has divided the goals into career health finance self-care something i really preach on my channel like you really need to categorize your goals and then you have a reading list yay this is an insert that I did not see in the other two planners so very excited about that standard monthly view it has a note section as well a section for birthdays appointments travels events now since I've had so much experience with different planners I know for a fact that some of the sections like appointments and events are sort of interchangeable at least in my life my events would be my appointments if that makes sense so for me these are sort of like mm, fluffy segments but maybe it makes sense to some of you it does not to me at least I would just have like one appointment section but yeah just going very uh, critical here right I'm just sharing my free-flowing thoughts about what I'm looking for the first time monthly goals great to have again I just again love the entire aesthetic of this very very pleasing this is the cutest habit tracker I've seen yet mood tracker yes always aim for a mood tracker then you have a water tracker as well great addition you have expense tracker you have a meal planner oh my god this is so cute guys they also have an experiences bucket list travel bucket list a weekly spread weekly goals monthly reviews the MRP is one thousand five hundred but right now the sale price is one thousand two hundred personally for me out of the three i would go for this only because again it has very very good spreads very good planner inserts very well thought out and i just love how it looks and how it makes me feel it's very neat very minimalistic has pops of colors here and there does this come with stickers that'll be really sad because otherwise this is perfect oh dang it so if you are someone who uses stickers maybe you may not want to go for this because it is more expensive than the other two and it also does not come with stickers but if you're okay with the price and you already have a lot of stickers like me I have like a collection of stickers so I won't be losing out on much if I do end up getting this planner I can actually see myself buying this and it's definitely a thumbs up okay so these are undated planners that is interesting I do see the charm of using an undated planner because even if you miss few days or months you can still use it till whenever you want it's definitely a big advantage but I like having my dates and days set and too lazy to write it separately okay first off love love the cover it's beautiful it's again something i really vibe with oh it has a bullet journal spread like the dotted grid very pretty artwork oh yay it has very cute stickers what's coming is better than what's gone again they're just showing like really cute prints and quotes that they have i don't think this has any inserts what oh my god okay i did not expect this so this is basically a dotted journal i thought it's going to be like a traditional planner like the ones we saw till now this is great for bullet journaling and also to just generally journal anything because that's what the entire space is meant for it's your planner your journal you can do whatever you want with it it may not be everyone's cup of tea okay so this is 1200 so it basically ties with saloni's planner so both of them are completely different from each other right i would buy larissa's planner not as a planner but just as a journal or a notebook but I will need another planner. It is slightly expensive, especially considering they don't have any inserts inside except like stickers. You know how you would want to use your planner. So just do your research and buy. Let's look at another really popular planner that all of you have been asking me to review for the longest time, but I just never bought it. So it's priced at 1,900. Again, it's in the expensive range. I love her doodles. Very cute, super adorable. I also love that it's spiral bound. Looks really rich, right? I think it comes with a pen. Wow. And it has a pen loop as well. Wow. I can see monthly tabs. I don't see many planners doing this please do it cute stickers this is so unique things to mentally sort out love this i haven't seen anything like this in any of the planners before so we have this budget planning section we have the goals page and yes a very practical insert which says steps to achieve these goals i've always mentioned this in my videos as well it's not just important to have goals it's also important to have 
plans on how you're going to achieve those goals right i mean what is the point of having goals if you're not even having an action plan on how you can achieve them so you have birthdays and this month's goal and this is such a cute page because it literally looks like it's out of a notebook like the ruled pages things to clear up or organize this month these are some really really practical things i can really see myself using these sections a lot big big Yay from my side. We have a monthly meal plan. Habit tracker. Yes, this is very good. You have a period tracker. This is so good. I love how inclusive this is. A very doodly bookmark. I can see the weekly spread. So of course, quality wise, print wise, artwork wise, inserts wise, everything it does look quite high quality, which is why it sort of justifies the price. I personally am not a big fan of the cutesy doodly stuff in general. When I look at the doodles, they're so cute, but maybe I don't see it as a planner for me. Even having said that, after going through all the inserts, they are so practical, so unique. I would buy this. Even though the aesthetic is not necessarily mine, I would still buy it because that's how amazing the planner inserts are. So definitely a big thumbs up. If you have the budget, go for this. I'm sure you already know why I'm in love with this. It's the pink. I mean, in case you can't tell, I am obsessed with pink. Pink and gold is just me. The inside looks quite appealing as well. Little things you want to prioritize about yourself and doodle them in the spaces marked with arrows. Wow, this is such a mindful exercise. You have sacred rituals so you can set your morning routine and put that. And evening routine. This is so cute. Bookstagram. This is such a bullet journal idea. Like, I've actually made this spread myself in one of my bullet journal. Level 10 goals. What is level 10? Wait, am I missing something? Oh, this is from that wheel. I'm forgetting. What is this wheel called? I've read the book about this. So you have this amazing wheel where you can rank yourself from level 1 to level 10. And you have different categories in life to rank for. It's actually quite in-depth. Down the memory lane. Love the Polaroid idea. Habit tracker. Very useful. Habits to kill. Habits to grow. Wow, you have a period tracker here as well. This is so good. And you can even circle your sick days. That is quite interesting. I've never seen that in any planner. Okay, they have the weekly spread as well. It's designed in a very interesting way, but honestly, it does seem a bit overwhelming. Like, even for me, it seems like, oh my god, I have to figure all of this out to fill this in. You know, it feels like that. Wow, it also has inclusions like Ikigai worksheets with thousand stickers inside it, a postcard, you get pop socket and bookmark. Okay, so you get a lot of cool things with this. MRP is 2664, but the sale price is 1675. I wouldn't say it's beginner friendly because there seems to be a lot of uh, activities that might overwhelm a beginner planner. They again come with different covers. I personally love the classic versions as usual. Look Wise, Archetype always has my heart. Again, completely my aesthetic. Very important monthly tabs. They have a lovely selection of stickers as expected. They have a well spaced out weekly page. I love how they have this almost slam book sort of a section where they're asking you who you are, what you love to do, what your goal is. They have the monthly reflections tab and you can also rate yourself against each category like productivity, calmness, health. I feel reflecting and reviewing your months are so important. You have the standard grid view of the month. Wow, the first page itself is so beautiful. Beautiful. This is like the weekly spread where you can jot down what's happening every day or what you're planning for that day and you can make it look pretty with all these fun stickers. You have a dedicated habit tracker which is great. They are also the most expensive out of the lot because this is 2000 rupees. I have used Archetype so I can say that the price is in a way justified because trust me the quality is top notch. Would I go for it? 100%. I have already gone for it in the past and I would go for it again just because they have better planner inserts and well thought out planner inserts this time. I hope that this helped you and it was informative that's the sole purpose of me discussing this very candidly with you all let me know if you like this video by giving this video a big big thumbs up this is the last video until vlogmas begins officially on december 1st so make sure you are subscribed and be part of the notification squad by clicking on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on a single video i did announce a big giveaway in my previous ink bucket video if you don't know anything about it please do watch that video and i will also link the google form below where you can enter the giveaway and all the rules i mentioned there anyways i I will see you next in my vlogmas series till then stay happy positive and blessed yay vlogmas let's get it bye what a wonderful world.